Hey, welcome back to the Marketing Ninja podcast where Manuel shares his business, marketing, and branding strategies he's used to build seven to eight figure businesses. All right, let's enjoy the show. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you what is a content unicorn and how you two can be one, all right? So let's get started. My name is Manuel Suarez and I'm the CEO of Attention Grabbing Media. We are a marketing agency dedicated to the subject and obsessed with the subject of attention. And we help brands and businesses scale with attention at scale. All right, so let me tell you about this particular thing that I have been very obsessed with for many years now. And this is the process of becoming a content unicorn. What is a content unicorn? Well, content unicorn is an individual that has an incredible ability to communicate and is catching attention at scale. If you look at the world around you, if you go to a, a mall, you go to a park or a restaurant with people sitting down and walking around, you will see people doing generally one thing across the board, one thing. I'm talking about 99.99% of people are doing one thing, and that is consuming content. So the way that you can win in the world of building a legacy, in the world of building your own personal brand, in the world of actually getting attention for your business and your brand, utilizing you as the personal brand is by ensuring that you are the 0.001% of people that are actually creating consistent content. It might make you feel that there's a lot of us creating content, but this is not the case. Because you go to social media, you go to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you go to TikTok, and there's so much content going out that you feel that everybody's creating content. The truth of the matter is then less than 1% of the population out there creates content consistently. And now less than 1% of that 1% has something going on in which they are rain or shine creating content. And a content unicorn is an individual that is committed to his message, that has a passion for his message and doesn't stop no matter what the world is throwing at him. It doesn't matter if we have a world that's being shut down because of this thing called COVID. It doesn't matter if the, there's a recession. It doesn't matter if there's uh, a good economy or a bad economy. It doesn't really matter. Anything matters. This individual is committed to his message and the production of content. That's what I like to call a content unicorn. But also a content unicorn is that individual that not only does that, it's also that individual that knows how to get the attention and keep the attention. So the combination of the social media distribution of content with his unique ability to capture attention, those two things make for a content unicorn. And I have had the pleasure of helping several content unicorns build massive social media followings over the years. Everybody wants to accomplish a similar level of success, but they all don't understand that there's a certain formula that needs to be executed and not abandoned in order for you to get there. And the content unicorn formula, I have talked about it before, is not complicated, but it does require a lot of work and it does require a lot of passion and a lot of persistence. If you don't have those things in place, you're gonna potentially fail over and over again, trying to become a content unicorn yourself. So if you wanted to travel down this journey, this is exactly what you gotta do. Put it on a big whiteboard and figure out exactly how you're gonna go about executing on this particular formula. Number one, you gotta commit. If you're not committed, don't even start with number two. If you're not committed with your message, it doesn't really matter what happens afterwards. If all you want is to sell your products because you believe that you deserve more revenue, then I cannot help you with this formula because the content unicorn has one thing in common across the board. They are committed with their message and they are committed with helping and impacting people and they're committed to the process and they believe that it's gonna take whatever it takes for them to get to the level that they wanna to get to. That's step number one. It is the one thing that if you don't put in, you have zero chances of becoming a content unicorn yourself. Step number two is more for yourself and for your audience, and that is quality of message. You gotta have a quality of message that people are gonna be attracted to. Not your visuals and not your fancy cameras, Yes, these are important. The audio is important. The visuals are important, but your message is senior to everything. Is there a beginning and is there an end? Is there something that if I listen to, I'm going to go and make a particular part of my life better? If you cannot answer that question with a resounding yes, 
then you need to get back to the drawing board again and figure out how you can make your message quality. And some this is about just getting it going. And once you get it going, your value will keep on getting better and better and better, and you'll keep on improving every step of the way, and you'll be able to actually accomplish a quality message with time. At the beginning, it's more about you than about your audience. You gotta get comfortable with your voice, and once you do so, now you can actually just focus on delivering a message to your audience because you know you're helping them with your message. So quality of message is essential. You gotta figure that out. Once you have the consistency, you're committed to it and you're doing this consistently, you gotta figure out how to increase the quality of your message, have a starting point and have an end point and don't leave people hanging with a lack of value. Always give them value on every single video and that's going to lead towards the last step. Now you're getting closer to becoming a content unicorn and at this last step is where really content unicorns are made and that's where companies like AGM, Attention Grabbing Media, can help you implement the system because this one is about quantity of content. So once you got the commitment, once you got the quality, now you gotta talk about quantity and only then you should be scaling your quantity of content. And here's a beautiful thing. This is a very, very incredible, powerful world of opportunities right now because you can take that content and you can turn that into multi different formats of content. You can turn that into a, a podcast or turn it into an article or turn it into a quote card with a picture of you. When you extract one of the quotes that you said, you can turn it into an Instagram Reels or a Facebook Reels or a TikTok, or you can tell that into a LinkedIn post, etc. And you can do that over and over and over again. What I like to recommend is that you do as much as humanly possible because we're in the attention seeking game. The more attention that you get, the faster that you get there, the more attention that you get, the more revenue you can produce. So the formula is very simple. Attention equals income. So do everything that you can to get attention at scale and leverage these opportunities that are gonna go away. I like to approach opportunities like the ones that we have right now. I like to approach them like I would approach a building that's on fire. I'm gonna try to get as much as possible out of it before my life is in danger. And then I'm gonna walk out of it with as much as I possibly could get from it. But I'm gonna move really, really fast because you know what happens with a raging fire. So the world of the opportunities is exactly the same way. You gotta jump all over them, take advantage of them, try to master every single thing that you can on that particular opportunity and dominate that particular opportunity before it goes away because it will inevitably go away. So again, just to go back to the formula, what do we have here? In order for you to become a content unicorn, you gotta do number one, a commitment, to be consistent, you gotta do number two, get the quality of your message perfected along the way, and number three, quantity. If you look at somebody like my father and his incredible content, we post many, many thousands of times a month. He passed away, and I'm still posting content at large scale because that was his biggest obsession, legacy and impact, all right? So hope that helped you. I'm looking forward to seeing you become a content unicorn. So get to work, implement, execute, and dominate your space and hope to see you guys win. See you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.